all right guys this is mithril back with another borderlands 3 item guide video and today the item we are checking out is the wedding invitation so before we go over this item the way you get it is by having the broken hearts day event enabled and then what you have to do is get it from one of the loot hearts which has a 16 percent drop chance or you can break 100 hearts and get it as the challenge reward okay now that that's done so it's a jacob sniper black and red very nice isn't there already a skin like this though black and red maybe i don't have it but i'm pretty sure there's a skin like this already uh anyways it's red text is will you be the rest of my life so the unique ability of the wedding invitation is on a ricochet effect critical hits one explode and deal fire splash damage Two, return one bullet to your magazine. Three, ricochet one cryo projectile at the nearest enemy. I don't know if it does all of them or it chooses one out of the three. So we're going to find out right now. So wedding invitation, a revolter. This needs to change. Sure, let's put this one on. Um, let's put on the company man for now if i have to i'll put on the pearl uh hunter seeker a gorillas in the mist build however i need to take this off put that there because i've been told numerous times that for snipers you don't want gorillas in the mist you want just fade away so that's what i'm doing no bar i need ammo All right, let's see. All right, it looks like it does all three. The fire splash damage. The ammo is going back, and then I saw the cryo ricochet. So yeah, it does all three, which is nice. Makes me wonder if I should have a revolter on or a old god. Let's just leave the revolter on, I guess. Away, please or not okay I can't see with you in the way is that everybody looks like it fire splash damage one bullet to your magazine and then a cryo projectile at the nearest enemy those are some good effects I won't lie the fire splash damage makes me wonder how good it would be on Moe's. However, my aim is pretty bad. That's why I'm here on Flak. That way I can get the crits. Alright, that looks like everybody here though. So let us go and test this weapon out now on a boss. Alright, now I'm here on Necrodefeo in front of General Trunks Arena. Let's try the pearl. So everything else is going to be the same, except this is the Pearl. Now, Tront here does have a shield. Man, Megavore, come on, where are you at? Alright, let's go fade away.
Okay, now just really quickly, let's go to Grave Ward, which is here, to the Floating Tomb. I just want to see how it'd be on a boss with a bigger, like, crit spot. All right, now that we're here at the Floating Tomb, let's rush down here. Grave Ward is probably going to tilt the platform. Yes, looks like it. All right. There you guys go. That's going to be today's video on the wedding invitation. I do like it. I think the effects are pretty cool. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then uh, let me know, did I use this weapon correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, make sure to let me know. And then I'll do a part two on it. But for now, all I really can say is I hope to see you guys uh, next time.